Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth episode of my uh, Terraria Let's Play. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be doing. Um, we're going to be trying to mine the one of the meteorites that's landed in my world. Uh, so I did. Uh, oh, shackle, nice. Okay, anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um, I did uh, have two meet. I've, I've had another meteorite land in my world since the last episode. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff because I uh, I smashed a couple more um, a couple more of the uh, of the uh, shadow orbs. So I got and every time you have a shadow orb, you uh, have a chance for a. Uh... All right, that can be switched switched out for that now. You had you have a chance for a um, a meteorite to land. I also defeated Eater Wars a bunch more tight, like twice more, so I got full shadow armor and full shadow um, shadow tools as well. So yeah, let's get on with this. I know exactly where the um, oh, this could be a problem actually. I prefer to blow up the um, the. See, uh, the meteorite I prefer to blow up because then I don't have to get too close to it because every time you get close to it, it uh, hurts you. But yeah, we'll have to see. And if you're wondering, um, I did find one of them. There aren't any on the opposite side of the map. There, there's one here, which is kind of the worst place because it's right in the crimson. I mean, corruption even. So yeah, I think probably what I'll do is I'll uh, cut, cut away and come back and uh, show you um, and uh, I'll just quickly go and find some uh, uh, find some um, explosives and get to the um, and get the meteorite and then I'll, uh, I'll cut back and uh, show you what I have done so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, we are uh, back, and we are at the at the um, the meteorites. This is what the meteor will look like. It will just have made, have made a massive crater, a massive ugly crater in your uh, world, and no control of where it lands. To be honest, it can't land uh, near the spawn. I do not believe. Right, I'm just going to serve ahead because I don't want to die right now. I have a hundred Well, this is great, isn't it? And I just died, great. Let's see how many bars I can make out of what I've got so far then, shall we? Wait for myself to reload, uh, respawn or reload. Okay, then, so. Hmm, I'm not sure if that'll be enough to make the full set of armor, but let's have a look, shall we? This is what the meteorite armor looks like, and the set bonus is uh, it makes this use zero mana instead of seven. 
And the mana is this little star as you see at the bottom, at the top of my top uh, right hand side of my screen. I think it is. Okay, so I do have enough to make it all the full set. Nice. Right. Well, it's time. I think to face Skeletron, and just so you know, the uh, in most most people's opinions, the um, uh, the meteorite and space meteorite armor and space gun is one of the most powerful uh, com combos in uh, in early hard mode or pre hard mode. It can it can tear through any boss pretty much. So yeah. I will keep the shadow armor on me because it has more defense. Just in case. So let's go to the skeleton fight. I hope actually I might get some uh, buff potions quickly. I think next episode I'll probably start building a bit more on my base because that's uh, I need some more NPCs in. Right, so because I'm gonna be fighting him at night, I'm gonna take some torches. I'm also gonna be making a um a base to fight him with and I'm going to take a hunter po uh, yeah hunter potion let's go now uh, I know that the dungeon is this way so I'll uh, cut back cut away and I'll see you when I get there see you then okay guys we, okay, guys, we have made it to the um, to the dungeon and you know what I'm not going to build an arena probably going to regret this but yeah so to summon Skeletron you have to speak to this guy and press the curse and there we go, we are in. And that's one hand down, uh, and this is kind of very apparent to me that my uh, lack of uh, my lack of um, uh, my lack of arena means I have a lack of movement speed, which means that all that movement ability, I guess, and which means I'm getting hot, hit a lot more than I would have liked. And uh, there we go. And now he's just the helpless little skull that's uh, dying slowly. Okay, well, only about 1,500 health left to go out of 4,000. 400, I think it was. Well, okay, we're so close now. Shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, right, let's, well, let's just go over here. Might as well drink a health potion for good luck. Okay, we're under, we're under 500 health now. And now, yeah, we're like, there we go, we are now officially done, and we have a new grappling hook, nice, right, well, I'm going to switch this out, and well, we might as well uh, go down there, uh, that wasn't, see, as I said, the, uh, uh, the space gun makes most fights in pre-hard mode uh, quite easy, And that also now now means uh, so if you went into, into the uh, into into this which is called the dungeon before you defeated that guy uh, Skeletron, 
you would um, you would die by a dungeon guardian, which is a giant floating skull, which can kill you in one hit, so you automatically die. Let's see, oh, I only got five from there. But I did get a golden key here, nice. So you'd automatically die if you went too far deep into here, but now that I've defeated the Skeletron, I can now uh, gain access to here. And this has golden chests in it, which have which hold loot, which are uh, better than probably it's way it's way uh, uh, I hold desirable loot. Let's say that one. And you can hear the music change as we uh, enter the dungeon. And the um, the dungeon monsters are quite a bit harder than uh, what the monsters you'd know the normal monsters you get on the surface. I'll probably just unlock one chest since I have uh, one golden key, and then I'll uh, end the episode. Okay, well those are spikes. And the one problem with enemies are, are, aren't too bad to kill in here, unless they overwhelm you, in which case they uh, start getting... Like, yeah, if you let, let them build up on you, then uh, they become a bit of a problem. Actually, this is a better light source, to be honest. Is that... Nice, we've got... The unconscious man is here. Nice, right, well, let's get to destroy these guys. And I've got the Muramasa, which is a, 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 a new sword. It were, it's used to. I'll, I'll explain what it's used for when I get uh, once I get back. So, so uh, the Muramasa and the uh, Light Spain, which is the one I stored in here, aren't very good at the moment. But they are used to craft the best sword in uh, in pre mode, which is the uh, Knight's Edge, and they are combined with the Blade of Grass and the uh, Fiery Great Sword. And I'll show you how to make them in a in a, in a future episode. Uh, and they, those those ones combine to uh, to uh, make the knight head, which which is like the most OP sword or the best sword in pre harm mode. I mean, I'm not sure particularly what to do now. I might as well sort out my inventory quickly. Uh, is there any free chests? So I think I'll just use one of the free, free chests over here. Are the ones I'm going to in the money. Ah, uh, this one's like I've got something like that. Let's go this one. Okay, so I might as well pick up these. Uh, what else do I want? I'll probably just take uh, a full stack of those. And I'll keep the shadow armor on me just in case. I think that is all I need out of there. Okay, guys. Uh, and if this if this video is slightly shorter, I'm sorry. Uh, but thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you did please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications if, you're, if you haven't already as well. Thank you for watching and bye!